Hey, it's Paul here. I just did a five minute video, I think, and talked my, my heart, heart and soul out and I wasn't recording. So <laughs> let me start here again real quick. Um, what I wanna talk about is uh, keeping your body symmetrically balanced the same with your training. Um, for example, if you got a bicep bigger than the other, um, a pec, shoulder, delt. For me, the other day I was studying my quads and um, my legs have always been one of the strongest parts and best built part of my body. I think maybe from the years of playing soccer when I was a kid and then football and all that training we used to do. But um, I was studying my, my quads the other day and my right quad, the inside of it, looked like it's just not developed the same as the left side. And I was like, how in the world is that? I mean, I trained, the, the, you know, I don't, I don't put weight one late, I don't put weight on one side, I do like one heavier weight on one side versus another. And I'm like, how is this, this happening? And I got to thinking, I was in a car accident when I was 26 up in Sydney, Ohio. And then uh, I was playing softball in a league over there in uh, Miami County. Years, I was like 31. And I remember hurting my growing on my right side. So I think that through the years when I train, I, I overcompensate subconsciously with my left leg always dominating. The leg extensions, lunges, squats. So that's what's happened. That's only, that's only that conclusion I can come to for myself. So what I wanna talk about is, is if you're having, a, say, a pec that's bigger than the other, bicep that's bigger than the other, tricep, shoulder, and my, my situation, my quad, is do more individualized stuff. Like for example, I got the leg extension machine here. This is super light, I got 35 pounds. That's baby weight. But I'm gonna do one leg at a time. I tried a 45 and my right side couldn't do it. It was like, it didn't focus it on the inside of my quad, but my left side was like, this is easy. There you go. So all this time I've been, I've been when I do my leg extensions, the two legs, my left legs always took over more than the right side, but you don't think about it. So same with doing chest flies, doing any kind of chest movement. We got chest press machines where you can do one arm at a time. Um, tricep, do more individual stuff. Shoulders, do more do individual shoulder stuff. Bicep, um, do individual isolation stuff. Take your time. The key here is don't rush through this. Slow your mind down, focus on what you're doing, focus on the muscle. So you got equal movement, equal form, and development going to both both uh, both sides of your body. So, well, anyways, just want to share that real quick, guys. I'm gonna get into this set here and see how it goes for me over the next series of months if I can get this right side inner quad, uh, get some, uh, get it back to where it used to look like. So, all right, guys, everybody, think positive. Thank God it rained today. It is Sunday, June, July, June, July, July 12th. Glad it cooled down a little bit. I don't mind summer. I love the long sunny days, but I hate the heat. Ugh. I'd rather have like 80 degrees and dark at nine o'clock every day, but hope everybody's doing okay. Stay, think positive guys. Stay encouraged. Um, take care of yourself. I come in here. I was in a funk. I didn't want to do this. Now I feel like a whole different person. This is what it does guys. Take care of you. Okay. All right.